But we have the Ace of Cups. And then the Ace of Wands. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. This Ace of Cups talks about, um, this could be like a new relationship. This could be emotions. Somebody could be literally in their emotions, Ace of Cups. And um, whatever they're in their emotions about, they want to take action towards something, Ace of Wands. King of Pentacles is here. And then the Hermit is here. This could be someone that is in isolation. It's like they're in solitude and um, they're in hermit mode. They could be in this energy. This king of pentacles could be someone that is, um, they've been just focusing on their finances, their stability, like working. And that's it. And then they just go home or, you know, stay to self. The Hermit is here. The Nine of Swords is here. And then Seven of Swords is here. Wow. Somebody is stressed out. This could, Whoever this energy is, I'm just like, who's stressed out? Seven of Swords popped out. Somebody could be stressed out because they got caught or exposed for being in the Seven of Swords energy. Or they could have set something up. They could have stole something. This could be a robbery. Somebody did something in um, a sneaky way and they thought they weren't going to get caught. Now they're stressing because they've been exposed. Yeah, judgment in the reverse. This is someone who did not expect to go through judgment, but they're receiving bad luck. Yeah, because every something got exposed, the moon card in the reverse. They can no longer um, operate in secret, do things in the dark. Because th this karma is eating them up. Whatever they're under judgment for, it's eating them up. And they can't even sleep at night. They're so stressed out. Yeah, they ended up getting exposed. The sun card is here. Whatever was done in the dark, it came to the light. And this person is stressed out. They never thought that they would be judged for whatever they did. But something was illuminated. They got exposed and whatever secret or whatever they were doing in the dark, in the dark it got revealed. <clears throat> Three of Wands in the reverse. They don't know what... It's like they didn't get anything out of whatever they were doing. This person made a bad decision. Now they cannot make it... They can't decide... Um, or make a decision for their self. Whatever they were expecting with this three of wands in the reverse, they didn't get it. The fool card is here and then a hair find is here. Somebody is going towards a whole nother direction. The fool card is here. For away from this energy. Seven of Pentacles is here. And then Seven of Cups. So this person was could be someone that they... This is a commitment that this person could be walking away from, moving from. They were attached to someone that was a snake. And they had invested in this person, Seven of Pentacles, for a long time. But it was all confusion. Seven of Cups. Whatever this confusion is... That person ended up getting caught and somebody is going towards a whole nother direction. This could be this King of Pentacles. 
whoever this king of pentacles is was it it is was at the seven of pentacles investing in something for a long time and they weren't getting anything out of it they were just at the seven of cups and illusions and confusions as that person was at the seven of swords being very sneaky lying cheating stealing being dishonest just using this person for whatever they can get they never expected to go through this bad karma they didn't expect to receive negative karma it's like people that are at the seven of swords they do stuff and they just like you know they're not going to get caught because they have been doing it for a long time so they're accustomed to this energy and will least expect how god had them came through and now this person is going towards a whole nother direction wow Ten of Pentacles is here. And then Knight of Swords. <laughs> wow. Whoever this Nine of Swords energy is, they're pissed off because this person could be going towards their Ten of Pentacles. It's like they're headed towards a whole nother direction. And then the Ten of Pentacles and Knight of Swords popped out. That person is angry. They were used to this person investing in them and being confused. Seven of Cups. They could have been investing in this person's addictions. Like this person is someone that got drunk or they got high. They were just investing in that person to keep them confused. To keep that person at the Seven of Cups. Creating illusions and confusions. So they could get high or drunk. This is sad. Now this person is going towards a whole nother direction. It's like this person wants to manifest their Ten of Pentacles. They realized they were just invested and confused in this situation and that's it. They weren't getting anything back. This went on for a long time and it was holding this person up. Two of Wands and Nine of Wands. It's like a never ending cycle. Going through the same thing over and over again. Getting the same results and it just had that person at a stalemate. Holding that person up. Now this person is, you know, running towards whatever it is that they want to build for their future. And that person is pissed off. They thought they had this person confused. King of Swords is here. Yeah, they thought they had this person confused, but this person is in this King of Swords and they cut this person off. Six of Cups is here in the past. This person been stressed out ever since. Queen of Wands is here. And then Seven of Wands is here. Something backfired on this person. It's like this person was trying to create blockages. They realized this is someone who was only creating blockages for them and that's it. And they needed to block this person off. Whoever this person is, as we have all signs here, fire sign, water sign, earth sign, and then we have air sign. Whoever this energy is could be a Leo, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. They were creating blockages for that person. Stuff that they were doing in the dark was backfiring onto that person. And that's why they were constantly investing in something and trying to figure out why they weren't getting anything out of it. And they were confused. This person had to make a bad investment being confused. Yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords clarity. It's like they gained truth and clarity and they blocked that person off. The lovers is here. And yeah, they found out the truth about a spiritual connection. They could have found out they have a spiritual connection with you. And that's why they're moving forward from whoever this um this energy is. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. They've walked away from all confusion. That bad investment. Yeah, because they want balance. It's like they walked away to balance their self out, get their self grounded. This person wants peace. Queen of Cups is here. Oh, wow. 
and then eight of pentacles so it's like this person is walking away from this bad situation this bad investment being confused for a long time with the seven of pentacles and seven of cups and they want to balance something out with you this could be you and this queen of cups energy because this person has emotions for you and they're all in their emotions person wants to work on something with you or work with you eight of pentacles queen of cups eight of wands and then the world is here it's like this person is coming towards you after completing it, um a cycle after something has ended with someone that was creating blockages for them five of cups is here somebody is in regret And then three of pentacles. Somebody is in regret because they could have collaborated with whoever this uh, seven of swords energy is behind the scenes. They partnered up with that person and they're stuck at the five of cups. They're in regret. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. The empress is here. This could have been a mother figure. Ten of Cups. And then Nine of Cups. This could be a mother figure. This could be someone in their family that drunk with that person. Someone that um, was attached to whoever this, this person is. And wh whoever this person is that found that they have a spiritual connection with you. They could have been attached to this seven of swords energy and they would kick it with that person, drink with that person. And this is someone that was in that person's family. They're in regret for partnering up with that person behind the scenes. Because this is someone that was a snake. And they could have had that person in an illusion and a confusion as well. So they wouldn't be able to see them properly. Yeah, this is someone that's toxic. These are people that were attached to each other because they had different addictions, bad habits, obsessions. That's it. These were karmics. They partnered up behind the scenes to try to have that person blocked off from this spiritual connection. Now they're in regret. They could be receiving some type of negative karma for being attached to that person. Yeah, to a source. They, they could have went in quick and lied to that person to a source. They were blinded from the truth. To get that person to partner up with them. Now that the truth has been exposed and revealed, they're, they're ashamed. They're embarrassed. But these are lessons that everyone has to learn. They're finding out that this person was someone that was toxic. This person was someone that was the devil. And they came in and lied to them to get them to partner up with them. Six of Wands is here. They, they came in and lied because they wanted that person to hold them in high honor. They wanted that person to respect them. They wanted to get attention. They wanted to have clout. Wow, this is... <laughs> yeah, because they didn't want that person to move forward. The chariot is here. So they lied to that person to partner up with them so they could help them block this person off from moving forward. This is sad. They wanted to block that person off from having victory and success. The death card is here. And it's like this person needed to realize this because they were in a toxic cycle with different people, not just one person. So they could go through a transformation and put an end to something. The death card is here. Because they weren't able to move forward as they stayed attached to those people. It just kept them burdened and weighed down. Ten of Wands is here. Pressured. The emperor is here. And then the will of fortune is here. It just weighed this person down to mature. So this person can be, be mature enough to walk in there um, right into their will of fortune. Right into their um, destiny, their purpose, their good luck and abundance. Because this person needed to mature. It's like they didn't have any knowledge of what was going on for a long time. And they needed to mature. 
in order to get what's destined for them, which is their will of fortune. Nine of Pentacles is here. Three of Swords and Five of Wands. Wow. And it's, it's like it all steamed out of jealousy. Whoever these people were that got behind the scenes with the Seven of Swords energy or this person, these are people that were jealous and they were, you know, heartbroken because you're someone that's a Nine of Pentacles. You're successful. You're someone that mind your business. You don't pay attention to what's going on um, with anyone else. You focus on yourself. That's how you're able to be abundant on your own. You work hard to get to this energy and you have your own stability. You're also someone that's celibate, saving yourself for commitment, things like that. These are people that were jealous of that. This person was heartbroken when they found out whoever this person is was uh, did this out of jealousy. And that's it. Partnered up with this person on top of being lied to. Because it's like they were trying to blind this person from the truth because they were jealous. And then the other person, whoever the seven of swords energy is, was coming to them and lying to them. So it was just, it was just like these people got together with the same agenda. But both of these people were karmics to that person and cycles needed to be completed. Yeah, they're jealous of how strong you are. The strength card is here. How you carry yourself. High Priestess is here. You're also someone that knows hidden knowledge. Very intuitive, very gifted. These are things that pe these people were intimidated by, jealous of. They didn't want that person to know. So they figured they'd keep that person at the Two of Swords. Four of Wands is here. And high priestess, they were trying to hide the fact that you and that person share the same soul. You're this person's twin. Yeah, this was all a distraction. These are people that got together because they felt intimidated, insecure. They felt rejected because of the energy that you walk in. So it's like whatever they were doing behind the scenes, it failed. It was rejected. And they received negative karma. That's it. Tower is here. Everything came out. They didn't do nothing but make this person realize who they were attached to and who you were to them. Knight of Wands is here. Three of Cups and Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like this person, this Knight of Wands, I'm thinking, who is this Knight of Wands? Two of Cups and then Justice is here. This person wants to run in quick towards you without even thinking. It's like this person don't care. Once they find out who you were to them, they want to partner up with you. They want to work with you. They want to balance something out. They want Justice to be served in this situation. Three of Cups, Queen of Swords. And then the star card is here with King, with Knight of Cups. As I'm thinking, who is this Queen of Swords and Three of Cups? The star card is here, Knight of Cups. This person is coming towards you and they want to, you're in this Queen of Swords energy. So it's like they see you in this Queen of Swords energy. They want to reconcile with you. Three of Cups. And they want to heal something. The star card and Knight of Cups. They want to heal the connection. Hey man is here in Ten of Swords. Wow. And then the musician is here. Eight of Swords. Wow. So whoever this person is that was being very tricky, these people that were at the Seven of Swords and at the Three of Pentacles, somebody, they found out that these are people that wanted them to be um feel stuck. They did some type of betrayal, Ten of Swords, behind the scenes. This was the ultimate betrayal because they wanted to make sure that either you were stuck or that person stayed stuck. These are people that were trying to cause endings for you intentionally. 
these people have manifested their eight of swords. It's like they're at the eight of swords after being at the seven of swords. They're stuck. And they don't know that they're getting ready to receive negative karma or bad karma. And the situation will be laid to rest. Four of swords. These are people that were doing stuff acting out of, you know, hatred and jealousy without even thinking. They didn't know whatever they were doing would just, you know, come back and re and um, come back full circle and issue out negative karma to them. You didn't have to do anything. This is just how your energy field is set up. Equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is here. And they didn't know that as they were trying to sit back and sabotage the connection. It's like they've defeated their self trying to sabotage you or try to defeat you. And you're not even paying attention to these people. It's like they were playing mind games and, you know, trying to play tricks over this person's mind, trying to uh, control this person's thoughts, the way they think about you or something like that. And this has came back on them. It's like they sabotaged their self. Page of Wands is here. Page of Wands for Pentacles, King of uh, Wands. This person is in this energy where they're holding back. And then Page of Cups. Wow. It's like they were trying to control the way this person communicated, whoever this energy is, four of pentacles and page of wands. It's like they were trying to control this person. Now that this person is um in this king of wands energy, they want to apologize or have a heart to heart conversation to move forward. Whoever was in this Four of Pentacles energy trying to control this person, the way they move, the way they think, they're at the Five of Pentacles, being left out in the cold. Yeah, because this person is sailing away and they're not looking back. Yeah, they're coming towards you in this King of Cups energy. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. These are people that were literally being very devious behind the scenes. Like they could have been literally drinking with those people and they were like placing spell work over them. Like if they all drunk together, kicked it, they were placing spell work over that person to get them to respect them, honor them. See them in certain lights that was not their own and believe whatever they said that was not true. Cloud this person's judgment. Now this person is more intuitive. This person is using their intuition and they ended up getting woke. They're moving forward. Page of Swords is here. And Page of Pentacles is here. Two of Pentacles is here. Wow. It's like they're watching this person or watching you and they're in this page energy. They don't have anything to offer. But I'm also seeing this person found out some type of information or once they found this information out, they've been trying to figure out how can they balance the situation out with you. Two of Pentacles, page of Pentacles. And they've just been sitting back watching. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and then Ace of Pentacles is here. This person is coming towards you because they want to start over and they want to um they want to be in a commitment with you. Yeah, whoever these people are, it's like they're experiencing bad karma and they're suffering in silence. They're stressed out. They can't sleep. It's like they never intended for whatever they were doing to come out or backfire. This is just sad. They never expected this person to reevaluate anything. 
that was the last thing that was on their mind while they were doing operating in the seven of swords energy. They just thought that, you know, they weren't going to get caught. This person has never know. They have been, you know, invested. They have been investing in confusing this person for a long time. But something immediately backfired and this person found out the truth. After a while, you know, people expose their self and they don't know. And it's the energy that you walk in. That's how you always get exposed, whether good or bad. Yeah, this is someone that was is very needy, codependent. They're experiencing sleepless nights. Like I said, they're stressed out. Whoever this person is could be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. New love is here. Yeah, it's like they're having sleepless nights because this person is um have moved forward. And they have new love coming in. Yeah, something that will be successful. Yeah, this person will be happy. Happiness is here. And this stresses this person out that's very needy and codependent. Yeah, they got exposed. Exposure is here. And this person set boundaries with this person. Yeah, they got exposed for spell work. I mean, this was a lot of trickery that have been going on for a long time. Pisces is here. You could be a Pisces. One of these people could be a Pisces. Yeah, haters is here. These are people, as I said, they're haters. They don't like the fact that you're someone that's self-sufficient. You're successful. You mind your business. You do you and you're self-made. These are people that did not know you. They just, you know, seen who you were and judged you by... um judge you judge a book by its cover now they're even more envious and jealous because you're able to walk in your own energy and they they're not you're a role model jealous family members is here this person have different family members that are jealous of them coming towards you because of who you are as a person these could be people that um they don't feel good about their self so they don't want other people to feel good Yeah, they were trying to create blockages. But as this popped out in the reverse, these are people that cannot no longer, they can no longer create blockages for that person. This person found out the truth. Yeah, it was jealousy. Multiple people were jealous. Did a lot of stuff out of jealousy to create blockages. Scorpio is here. You could be a Scorpio. One of these people could be a Scorpio. Karmic soulmate is here. This person realized they were attached to a karmic soulmate. Influencer is here. Yeah, this is a karmic soulmate. And then you have addictions. So it's like you're someone that was trying to influence this person or you could have helped this person in some type of way to um, help this person want to get woke or something like that or realize the truth about a situation that had been going on for so long and this person is someone who's struggling with addictions like that's all they do is um you know and they're needy and codependent to that like getting high getting drunk and they overindulge that's all they care about this person does not have a life but have the nerve to sit back behind the scenes jealousy playing with spell work this is sad. It's like this, they just realized this person is someone that's toxic. Separation is here. They realized they needed to separate from that person while they were in separation away from you. This is someone that was desperate. Whoever this energy is could be under investigation. Because they operate out of desperation. Federal cases here. They're wrapped up in some type of federal case. Hidden emotions is here. Isolation is here. And then jealous friends. This person could have stayed away from you, hid their emotions from you, because they were attached to different people that were jealous. Not only did they have family members, friends, a karmic soulmate, everybody around them was envious and jealous of this person coming towards you. Envious and jealous of this person having new love. 
Envy isn't jealous of this person being successful. This is sad. Now someone, do, they don't have anywhere to go. It's like they did not expect to go through this bad karma. Reevaluate is here. Karmic justice is here. Karmic justice is being served. It's like now these people are sitting back thinking about whatever it is they did. They're forced to because it's eating them up. They can't sleep at night. They're at the nine of swords, dark night of the soul. Slander, gossip, sleepless nights, and they're getting exposed for everything that was done in the dark. It's no longer hidden anymore. Right path is here. It's like karmic justice is being served so this person could get on the right path. Divine connection is here because they have a divine connection. They have a divine partnership with you. Bad karma is here. And then black magic. It's like whoever was operating playing with spell work, they were playing with black magic. They're receiving this bad karma. All because they didn't want that person to. They tried to come in between a divine connection. They tried to control a divine connection. And they were not thinking about the outcome. Love interest is here. Celibate. So you could be this person's love interest. You're someone that's celibate and you're receiving good karma. This person realized they were around, so surrounded around a lot of people that are receiving bad karma. An entire time, this person was um, hiding their emotions from you, interested in you. You were practicing celibacy. And you're receiving good karma. And you're someone that has confidence. You respect yourself. You believe in yourself. You have confidence enough to go after, uh, mind your business, go after whatever it is that you want out of life. And you're also someone that's protected. That's why everything backfired. This had this this didn't do nothing but you know help your growth. Communication is here. Boundaries is here. I mean burdens is here. And then powerful ancestors. So it's like this person is being weighed down. This person could be someone that has powerful ancestors. You have powerful ancestors. And they're weight, they're burdened. They want to communicate with you. Something is weighing them down. All of this has weighed this person down. And they've been just sitting back watching you. These could be their ancestors weighing them down to communicate with you. Aries is here. You could be an Aries. One of these people could be an Aries. Tarot card reading. Taurus is here. You could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. Secret hater is here. You have Virgo here. You could be a Virgo. One of these people could be a Virgo. And then wrong path. So this person found out a lot about different people. Through a tarot card reading. They realized they were on the wrong path. And um, this is their ancestors that was pushing them to, you know, get this reading. Isolate. Go in hermit mode. Things like that. So they can go through this realization. They could have went through literally a tower and different stuff could have backfired onto that person. So they can realize what they were surrounded by. Because they had been confused for a long time. You've changed. It's like they needed to make a change. You could have made a change. And it made that person realize they were on the wrong path as this person is the other half of you. <clears throat> Reconnecting is here. Lustful energy, equal give and take, Sagittarius is here, and everything backfired. So whoever was playing with spell work, black magic, they were trying to play sex magic over this person. Lustful energy, this was a lustful energy. Whatever they did, it only backfired and it came back equal give and take. They thought they would get this person to give to them, continue to, you know, invest in them. And they knew about this twin flame journey way before they did. Way before you did. And they were only blocking that person's blessings. Because they knew about this person's destiny. It's like the, the plan was to keep this person in confusion. 
They figured that they would block that person's blessings and whatever that person was getting in that toxic cycle, it would only benefit their addictions, their bad habits, their obsessions to keep that person bounded to them in a toxic karmic cycle of confusion. And yeah, this is someone that was very sneaky. And it's like they set this whole thing up as long as they have been attached to that person. And that person was in regret. Once they found out how long they had invested in this person and they were placing spell work over them for a long time, they were in regret. They were ashamed of their self, embarrassed. And this could have, you know, put this person in hermit mode, not want to be around nobody. Yeah, gold digger is here. They were in regret because they were attached to someone that was just using them to feed their addictions, their obsessions, their bad habits, and to keep that person stuck. Binded, blinded, and tied up. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're facing jail time. And then abundance is here. This person is getting ready to be blessed from completing this toxic cycle with whoever this person is. That was being very sneaky. And it was multiple people. It wasn't just one person. God is getting ready to gift this person with abundance. Yeah, this is someone that's a leader. This person is supposed to be leading their own life. They made a decision to be a leader, lead their own life, be more intuitive. And they're getting ready to be gifted with abundance. And these are people that are suffering in silence. It's like they're going to continue to suffer in, silence, suffer in silence while this person is being blessed with abundance. While this person is being a leader, the leader that they're supposed to be. It's like they knew, but they didn't want that person to know. They wanted control. They did not expect for God to step in. They did not expect God to step in and lead this person toward a whole nother direction. Lead this person on their journey, the path that they're supposed to take. 